Welcome to JT Song of the Week. I'm JT. This week's song is based on a true story about Rudyard Kipling, famous author. And right after the JT Song of the Week is Tom Yoke's story break. And he's going to be telling the story that this song comes from. So, if you can stick around and watch Tommy's story break, that's great. But in case you can't stick around, I'm going to put it on the end of this just in case you missed it, okay? So you'll hear the song and then you'll hear the story if you want to stick around. So thanks and enjoy. Kipling was an author. He wrote a lot of words. Some say his work was eloquent. Some say it's for the birds. From Ricky Ticky Tabby to the good old jungle book. No matter your opinion, he deserves a second look. Like every other artist, he had his highs and lows. But he got to be real famous from his poetry and prose. If he stacked up all his titles, you'd make a ten foot pile. He made a lot of money, he made a lot of people smile. With priceless tales from the ends of the earth Count the stars or measure their worth Tigers, pythons, orangutans and men Words on paper, ink from a pen A reporter stopped to talk to him as he took a walk one day. She said, I heard you make a killing from the things you write and say. Is it true you get a hundred bucks for every word you write? Kipling said, I never thought about it, but you may be right. So she reached into her purse, grabbed a hundred dollar bill, handed it to Kipling said a payment if you will and in exchange I like a hundred dollar word today he said thanks took the bill headed on his way to priceless tales from the ends of the earth count the stars or measure their worth tigers pythons Orangutans and men Words on paper Ink from a pen Hundred dollar words on paper Hundred dollar ink from a pen Well, hello, friends. This is Tommy Oaks, and welcome to the Story Break. Tonight is a special night on the Story Break because I'm going to be telling a story that has a song attached to it. Now, if you've been coming to the Song of the Week, which comes on right before the Story Break, I mean, every Wednesday night at 9.30, John Thomas Oaks does the Song of the Week. If you haven't been watching it, I hope you'll start watching it. But tonight... The Song of the Week is based on a story, and I'm going to tell you the story that goes with that song. So if you came to the Song of the Week, well, here's the story. If you didn't make the Song of the Week, don't panic, because when the story is over, we're going to play that song that goes with this story. The song really is the story itself being told again in song form by John Thomas Oakes. So here comes the story. Rudyard Kipling was a famous British writer, lived near the end of the 19th, the beginning of the 20th century, and was quite famous in his day. I mean, he sold books, poems, articles. As a matter of fact, there was a time in his life when he was one of the hottest things going, and just about everything that he wrote was selling like hotcakes. 
it was selling so well that somebody got together and started doing a little math, and they reported that Mr. Kipling was selling so much that every word that he wrote earned about $100 for him. Well, I think a newspaper heard about that, so they sent a reporter to do an article on it. Well, the reporter found Mr. Kipling and started talking to him and said, Mr. Kipling, I've heard it told that you have sold so much of your writing that every word you write is worth $100. Mr. Kipling said, is that so? The reporter said, yes. And he reached in his pocket and pulled out a $100 bill. He said to Mr. Kipling, how about giving me one of those $100 words? Mr. Kipling looked at him, smiled, and said, thanks, and took the money. And that's the end of that. Now, for those of you who came tonight, I have a $100 word. And here it is. Thanks. See you next time.